by the town of Unionvale. I'll second. Town board discussion. This is required by the health department and something that uh, county, we, yeah, well, county we have to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, and the engineer said he's had the, the two people that submitted bids. Uh, this was the lower bid, and he said he's worked with both people, and mm -hmm. both people were well qualified. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution authorizing waiving of pavilion rental fee. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Unionville hereby waives the small pavilion rental fee for July 9, 2016 for the fifth annual Racing to Save Lives 5K, 10K run walk. I'll second that. Town board discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. 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 I'd like to make a motion to allow Mary Lou to make. We weren't going to read the whole thing. <laughs> Parkinson's Awareness Month. Declare April Parkinson's Awareness Month. I'll second that. Oh, yeah. Town board discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Now we'll move to public comments and questions. What about, what about, um, advisory committee? Anybody who right. advisory Oh, I'm sorry. We would like to invite any interested residents to contact any of the town board members or the town clerk's office regarding serving on the conservation advisory committee. And now we would like public comments. Hi, my name is Jean Moore. I live over on Darren Road, and I've been a resident here for over 40 years. Jean, go to the Oh, OK. I can't hear you. My name is Jean Moore. I've been a resident for over 40 years here in the town of Unionville. I live over on Darren Road. And Rob, thank you very much for meeting with me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I feel like I've released a tiger from a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I always have admired your passion and your, your dedication to the park and to making good programs and doing a really, really good job. I still have to talk a little bit about revenue, though, and, and profit and loss, so excuse me. First of all, there's two items I want to discuss. I'd like to thank uh, Lizette Hitzman and Ra Ralph Mundell for their part in initiating, initiating conversations last October with the uh, Mid-Hudson Library System representatives, which resulted in the current board and the supervisor approving and signing the current library agreement. I think that's really important. Hopefully this agreement, along with the library steering committee that's going to be formed, will put the past controversy to rest and will help heal some of the bitterness and anger that marred past board meetings. If I remember correctly, and you know, I've been here over 40 years, I'm getting old too, but we as a town years ago decided not to provide our own library to residents of the town because we were using neighboring libraries for free. Why should we build our own library when we could use neighboring libraries at no charge because not having our own library saved putting up a building or remodeling a building saved us millions of dollars because we didn't have to buy books, we didn't have to buy videos, we didn't have to buy computers, we didn't have to provide desks, bookcases, tables, we didn't have to provide the staff to operate the library and clean the library. We have saved a lot of money because we didn't have our own library. One of only about three places in the Mid-Hudson Library system, if you look at the map that they have on their website. I believe all town residents should have access to a library. I think that's important as part of our democratic government 
and having an educated society. When some of the reasons for not supporting full library access seem specious and without merit, I decided to look at the town budget more carefully. For example, and, I, and some of the reasons why, why that were used I, I found kind of strange because one of the reasons was not everybody uses a library. Not everybody uses the town park. So why should I pay extra for the town park if I don't use it? That's the argument that can be made. So I found that a little bit lacking. Another reason that was used is that we didn't have the money to do so. We have saved millions of dollars by not having a library in the past and being able to use other libraries. And I didn't feel that it was out of place for other libraries to say, you're costing us money, you should help pay for some of the use of our facility. I didn't really feel that that was unreasonable. So then I started to look at the town budget. And the biggest budget, pretty much, that, that I could look at easily was the parks and recreation. And yes, I apologize for my incorrect, inaccurate figures. And as Rob explained, it's because the information on the website, mm -hmm. even though it's there, does not give accurate information. It only gives what they anticipate will happen. It doesn't give the exact amounts that were spent. So Rob met with me, and he gave me a sheet which was very nice of him, very colorful and so forth, breaking down all of the expenses. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is a great sheet, but you need one more column, profit loss, mm -hmm. OK? And so Rob kind of did that. This is a wonderful thing that you've done. This is really great. This is nice that you're explaining that it also, you, you guys take care of the cemeteries, and you take care of the buildings, <coughs> and you plow around here, and so forth. I think that's important information to have. But we still have to remember, you say we're getting more revenue, but we're still having about the same amount of profit and loss. And I broke it down because I feel it's really important to realize where some of this loss is coming, and it's still coming from the swimming pool. When we voted as residents to have a swimming pool, we were led to believe that once the swimming pool was paid for, the fees to use the pool would pretty much match the expenses to operate the pool. I like to say most of the money for that pool came from Iroquois Pipeline through grants. The vast majority of it, well, not, not from taxes. I appreciate that. But the problem is, it's still losing money. And I know um, you said that we're getting closer and closer each We've year. We've been working on it each year, yes. Well, would you please look at these? All right. It says that the pool lost $30,000, rounded off, in 2007, lost $40,000 in 2010, lost $49,000 in 2014, lost $57,000 in 2015. That's not coming closer. That's getting uh, I'd like apart. to look at these a little bit closer. This comes from Rob's figures. I understand that, but okay. I'd like to compare, do my own comparisons on That's this. That's fine. I think that would be great. <clears throat> and compare the other columns to the, that... Uh, and then I made another chart. This is based on Rob's chart, and I gave a copy for everybody, so everybody could have a copy of it. Because this is broken down into after school concessions, parks, park, beach, and pool, and the, then the total loss. Steve, pass them down. <laughs> There's copies for everybody. Oh, I, didn't yeah, I wasn't made aware of that. And uh, so. Is this a different? The total loss is coming from the parks budget and the beach and pool. And yes, the after school concessions and the uh, rec department is increasing in revenue, but it's not making the loss less. The loss is still about 160 to $200,000 every single year. And I really think that's a larger loss than should be there Unless you're going to break down and say, well, it costs this much to take care of the cemeteries, it costs this much to take care of this, it's not completely broken down, and I think it really should be. I think it should be more specific. Mm -hmm. And then we have some misunderstandings. One being the pool, 
getting less of a loss each year, which is not the case. It's getting more of a loss each year. We should investigate why is that happening. Are we having too many lifeguards? Is the pool open too long? Are we not charging enough for the use of the pool? Are we giving too many um, organizations discounts? We don't know. Yes, Rob. Uh, to go in with um, what you just mentioned there regarding the pool, we actually reduced the number of lifeguards from four on duty, from five on duty lifeguards to four on duty lifeguards this year, as well as reduced the number of um, of lifeguard substitutes we have, so that we're not training people that we may or may not use. Mm -hmm. In addition, um, the fees across the board went up this year for the um, for the pool, so that we can try and and close some that's, of those numbers. That's good. Just so that you know. That's good. That's yeah. good. Uh, and now I'm probably going to cause some umbrage amongst the equestrian people. I want the equestrian people to know I am not against horseback riding. I have a daughter who started riding when she was about nine or eight years old. I made the mistake of sending her to horseback riding camp so that she could find an activity she loved. She loved equestrian. She has been riding ever since. She is in her 40s. <laughs> So I'm not against equestrian. She even started a horseback riding program at the University of Vermont. And I spent many times there helping sell food and stuff like that. So I'm not against the equestrian program. They think they are making even money or that they're ahead. They're not. There has been a total loss of $7,216 in the equestrian program from the year 2009 to 2014. Now, maybe we want to have a loss in the equestrian program, and there's some stuff in there, in the equestrian program every year. I don't know, but we should be aware of the fact that it is a loss, okay? So, I think there are things that we could look at, or somebody could look at, to see if there's ways that we could kind of narrow that loss a little bit more, and this chart is really, really good that you made, Rob, but I think that one that says difference should actually say profit or loss because that's really what it is. And you can't just depend upon revenues. You have to look at the bottom line, which is profit or loss. So that's all I have to say. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else? Uh, Carlos Mina, uh, Manila Road. First of all, uh, I'd like to see this part of the program on the, f on the first part of the program, so I won't miss ball games. <laughs> and second of all, Dave alluded that there was an incident in the park. Well, a lot of people don't know what the incident was. There was some uh, illegal activity. From, that's what the uh, state police said. And altercation ensued. A young person got run over by a car, and he died. And uh, John and I, I don't know if Dave was there, we was there at 1.30 in the morning while they was processing the scene. And uh, we've also had other incidents. Uh, we had one up on the K Trail. A guy pulled in there at night sometime during the night. And a lady was walking her dogs the following morning and found him hanging in the tree. So. That was many years ago. It was. It was quite a few years ago. I think Alfreda was bringing up a stepladder that day. Yeah. It's too short. Yeah. Uh, so I was just wondering, uh, what are you doing about security? Well, sir, we are looking into lighting and cameras, but I really would not like to discuss this on camera um, because, you know, the bad uh, guys are out there, and if they hear what we're doing... Well, there's bad guys out there tonight because <laughs> when I drove up here tonight, there was two cars in the parking lot. Nobody's skating. Where's our consoles? <laughs> I don't know. Too late. They're done already. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think that this should be discussed. I understand that. Time. Yeah, you're absolutely true. Um, if I tell you, okay, we're putting a camera on the side of that building mm -hmm. to face. Oh, you're absolutely right. They're going to know where to go and what to do. Am I, I correct? So yes, we we have been discussing. Okay. Steve brought up more lighting, and Dave brought up more cameras, and, and we are looking into it. Speaking of lighting, how come there's lights down there now on the skating rink? Because the skating rink is open? 
Uh, are you going to open up the, uh, put lights on the basketball court and the volleyball court, court this summer so people can go down there after dark? No. So just a question. I was wondering about that. Uh, one, uh, about two weeks after the incident, when it was still cold and nothing, uh, not everything thawed out, uh, I was driving down the hill. There was four kids skating on the, uh, the skating rink. Uh, hockey players and it was a bunch of cars in the parking lot so I just drove through real quick and there was six cars in the parking lot or over to the side full of kids I don't know what they was doing they wasn't skating they could have been warming up from skating I don't know but uh, the park is wide open for anybody that wants to do anything at all down there and one other thing uh, I used to spend a lot of time in the park since I retired I don't have time anymore <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I was wondering, what, what are you doing about the, uh, the bridge over the uh, creek? Well, we are looking into another bridge to be donated. Um, and as far as the access for the fire department and the rescue squad to there, it is much easier access to go Lime Mill <coughs> Road and in that gate. Well, I understand that. What are you, what are you doing with the old bridge now? Because you can drive over it. We Whenever I saw a bridge condemned by the state, the county, or other towns, they put a barrier across so nobody can go over it. It's restricted to it traffic. Is restricted it is. to traffic right now. What kind of traffic? Any Town traffic. traffic. No one's allowed in there. Am I right, Rob? Public vehicles aren't allowed out there. You're right. There are no vehicles allowed back there. Okay. How come there's always tire tracks past it? That are is our parks and recs people doing their maintenance job. Well, if, if the bridge is condemned, they shouldn't be driving over it. It's been, he, it's got a weight limit set on it by the, the town engineer. I don't know if in particular what that is, but the town engineer has approved some vehicles to cross that bridge. In addition, most of the time, the tracks that you find are from our gators. And our uh, I know, I know the difference between a gator and a, a two-wheel drive, uh, two-wheels, or uh, four wheels on a dump truck. I know the difference. It, <laughs> and also, uh, I rented the uh, pavilion across the stream last year. First thing Rob told me, no cars. Two weeks later, I'm down for a fire company picnic. There's a party going on across the stream. Two cars drive over the bridge, around, and over to the pavilion. So nobody seems to be watching what's going on. And oh, I'm sorry, sir, but that was before my time. <laughs> right. Well, what's going to happen this summer? Well, if I'm notified <laughs> about it, we will do something about okay. it. And it takes residents like you to be alert and aware. And if you see things going on down there, please feel free to call the sheriff's Our department house. or the troopers. <laughs> and uh, that shouldn't be my job. Well, somebody sh somebody should be watching. Somebody should be watching the park. Who's watching the park? You're, you're in there. Uh -huh. See something, well, say something. Yeah. I mean, yeah. is that what they tell you? I mean, I, the town cannot afford 24. You're absolutely hours right, but the problem is the kids that go down here to do stuff don't see anybody. If you have a, a little more for a while, constables going down patrolling and doing something, when was the last time somebody got cited for being down there doing something? And it's going on all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I can come down here. Answer that question. I can come down here next month with a bag of paraphernalia I picked up in the parking lot. I, I don't want to have to do that, but it's going on down there. I found needles up at K Trail. Okay, so we will notify our constables to spend more time down in the park. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Thank and, you, sir. And if you please, I mean, this may sound gross to touch a needle, but if there is any way you can, <laughs> we can turn that into the police. That's not necessarily like <laughs> constables, not, they're peace officers. It's not really in their jurisdiction. But if we find on town property that there is wrongdoing, and, and that may be- I'm telling you, if there's wrongdoing on. going on down there tonight, probably. So when I leave here, I will go down there and check it out. Okay. If I see any wrongdoing, I will and why is, proper- And why is there a gate up here that's unlocked? We're working, we're working, we're working on, on, working on, on that. different gates. Okay, there are thank you. homes in the park right now and well if you was to ask the guy that was uh, trying to keep this kid alive before we got there how he feels about the gate being closed i think he'd like to have it closed 
Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other discussion or public comments? Okay. Discussion of next town board meeting agenda items. Well, the things we tabled from tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Written down the approval for Rob, a discussion of generator. Like, I don't know if in two weeks you can um, search well, that. Well, George is actually trying to get prices for me already okay. as we speak. Okay. George is going to get prices for me on generator. Okay. Um, yeah, I tried before, and, and there was never any grants available, but, you know, we'll check mm -hmm. again this yeah. year. And John will check on grants. Um, I think that we should not waste money. I think we got to do it right the first time. Um, but it it is necessary, and I think we're all in, in agreement on that. So that will be, and any and other thing. The ZBA appointments. The ZBA which we appointments. Had tabled the um, remainder of Alan right. Chip's term and, and the alternate to be. Right. And also Rob's request for. Yes, I said that one. Okay. Rob's request, yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. I, got, I just else? have one thing that's bothering me. Um, I've been an advocate for uh, improving the town website since I first was appointed to the board. And I'm happy that we're doing something here. But I don't recall that being discussed here at a board meeting. I wasn't aware of it until the past couple of days that it had been going on. Um, that's something that should have been approved by the board. I would have liked to have had some input on it. I realize, you know, I can from this point, but these changes shouldn't be made w except from this desk here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I want to make sure that in the future that, you know, that's the way that occurs. Well, I'll, I'll just mm -hmm. add one thing to that. Last year when you were talking about getting approvals, you said for them to make up a presentation and they did. I don't recall that presentation. Well, I mean, they've got, you know, all right, we haven't put it up here. It's going yet, online tomorrow. I, that I didn't know about, but I mean, I'm just saying you asked them in the past to do <laughs> no, it. No, that was your did. proposal and it never happened. My proposal was that uh, let, when you first brought it up is that we let the media department do it. Six months ago and then nothing happened. And right now it's going on live the information that without any discussion by the board. No, it's no, not the way things are supposed right to now. work here. I'll discuss it right now. Because well, it's a little beyond the fact now. It's, that's all right. It's not the way you, you folks came in here talking about transparency and how things are supposed to be handled. This should have been before the full board and discussed prior to anything happened. We are any putting out RFPs for... <clears throat> Andrea? I, I don't believe there's any fee associated with it. I understand that, but it's a change to a, a, the website that represents the town, which we're the representatives of the people here for the town. We should be discussing what goes on that website as a group. A and and I'd, I'd like to hear somebody hear me tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> the bottom line is this type of change in town representation should not take place without the full board being aware of it. Mm -hmm. If there's information, sir, that is, I'm sorry, sir. If there's, if there's information that is current and we need okay. to hear about it, it, I think it's very reasonable. All very right, I, I will address this. Steve, you're right. Yeah. Um, I like I said, I am very pleased that we are f making some improvements to the website. I'm not happy with and the way it's happening. I got so many calls. Yeah. This website <coughs> needs to be changed and updated. The old names, the old numbers, the wrong information was on it. So I needed to get at least the right names, the right information on this website. And I turned to the town clerk's office who offered me their assistance and have been so wonderful in Again, doing I'm very happy that we are making these improvements, and but I, it should have come before the board to make that happen. And, and my, my point is that I would like in the future for things like this not to happen. I, I can send you all the temp site tonight. And no, 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 Andrew, you're not involved. I mean, <laughs> okay. 
it's no, the, the problem I occurred agree. at this table. No. It did. And, it needs to be and fixed Steve is right, and we need. And I am sorry about that, Steve. And <clears throat> I will try to make it never happen again. Um, the problem is. I don't understand why all this conversation. Excuse me. The problem is, Steve, and you know as well as I do, we're not allowed to talk as a group. <coughs> but we could. I, have I mean, to this call is, a, this is an important item. Again, I'm yeah, not looking to cause right, a problem, is. but right. important stuff like this needs to be discussed by the full board. I and agree. If, if we need to make time to do it, then let's do it. Okay. All right. All right. I think your point's well taken. I make yes, a motion. Yes. <coughs> I make a. I second it. Okay. All in favor. Aye. 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 No, but he will. He will.